Hello and welcome to the recap of Act 3 and the beginning of Act 4 for the Shakespeare Loud series um, where you're reading Measure for Measure. It was a wonderful <laughs> uh, moment where you all said hello to me, so I'm saying hello to you back. Um, it's always such a pleasure and so wonderful to listen to you read as well as to listen to your many thoughts and ideas on uh, the acts. Um, especially last time, once again, it's such a wonderful play that creates so many thoughts and it makes us question so many things. Um, and I, something you brought up was all's well that ends well. And I've been thinking a little bit more about that because in a way we get um, the other side of the coin in the bed trick in those two plays. We get... Um, almost Mariana's story um, in All's Well That Ends Well, where we see the wife trying to get to get her husband, whereas in Measure for Measure we get the other way, where we see Isabella's story. So that's really interesting. I also was thinking about what what's the play doing and Dawn's really wonderful <laughs> why questions. Um, and I've been thinking where in As You Like It, we quite often get different versions of relationships. I wonder if there is a similar pattern here in Measure for Measure. Maybe rather than looking at a big storyline or a trajectory of characters, maybe this is about maybe trust or um, deceit, disguise. Um, maybe the difference between love and lust. So I... Again, many wonderful thoughts that I've gotten from you and ideas. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing the next installment of your reading because this is this play is just packed with so many thought-provoking moments. And I'm glad we get to discuss this. And now to the recap of what you've read last week to catch anybody up. Um, that missed last week. So we're starting with Act 3 and going into the beginning of Act 4. Isabella's horror at the idea of being forced to sleep with Angelo leads her to prison. She tells Claudia of Angelo's suggestion. He originally agrees with her decision, but then, under the fear of death, pleads with her to go through with the act and save him, much to her dismay. During this conversation, they are overheard by the still-disguised Duke. The Duke tells them of Mariana, Angelo's former fiancée, whom he had rejected because her dowry was lost at sea. He suggests that Isabella should agree to the nighttime meeting with Angelo, but Mariana should secretly take Isabella's place. Act 4. Despite Angelo's agreement with Isabella, the prison governor receives instructions to execute Claudio. The Duke persuades the provost to spare Claudio. He suggests that instead he should execute a long-term prisoner, Bernadine. Angelo should be sent the head to satisfy him. The Shakespeare Birthplace Trust is a great website to which I quite often have a look for these recap. So do check them out as well. And finally, another recommendation is Giles Block's book, Speaking the Speech. It's, it has a lot of wonderful ideas and thoughts on specific passages in the play, um, especially one of the scenes uh, you'd recently read already between Isabella and Claudio in the prison, last week's reading. Um, and he really goes into detail um, what he discovers that the text already shows and uh, points out. So also a great recommendation to have a look at. In general, his book is wonderful for all plays. Looking forward to next week's reading and great to see you again. Bye.